Okay, this is a request for um, a word problem from page 335, number 16. It's, I found, I have never done this one before, and I found it tricky to draw it, but once you get it drawn, you'll see that it's just like the bearing questions, only there's no bearing in it this time. So here's my sketch. It says that Mario is standing at ground level. So here's Mario right here exactly at the corner where two exterior walls of his apartment building, I'm really not a good artist here, but you get the idea where the apartment buildings meet. From Mario's position, his apartment window on the north side, so I said this was north over here, this was going to be west. You can turn it this way if you want. I'm going to turn it this way so you can see a little better. Um, his window um, on the north side appears to be 44.5 meters away. I'm gonna, I'm gonna write this on a different color so it's a little brighter. This is 44.5 meters to the window. So it goes up to the window here. And at an angle of elevation of 55 degrees. So that's here, 55 degrees. Mario notices that his friend Thomas's window on the west side of the building appears to be 71 meters away. Let's do it in a different color. So from here to this window appears to be 71 meters. I don't know how he measures these things, but yeah, he's smart. And at an angle of elevation of 34 degrees. So that's in here. Goes up 34 degrees. Now the question asks you two things. If a rope were pulled taut from one window to the other around the outside of the building, how long to the nearest tenth of a meter would the rope need to be? And secondly, what is the straight line distance through the building between the two windows? Not sure why you would want to know that, but yes. That's what math problems are all about, I'm trying to confuse you, right? Okay, so I have two things I need to find. I need to find this distance and this distance, so that would be on the exterior of the building. So I'm trying to draw it 3D. And yeah, I know it's kind of hard, like this is the window up here, and here's another window over here, right? So Mara's standing here, and you have to pretend you're like you're looking down on this. So he looked up to this window and up to this window. Those were his distances. You want to know this length, and you also want to know how far is it if you went right through the building. So that's going to be this line here, right? Okay, so if I flip this thing right around, you'd probably see that it looks kind of like those other triangle questions that we did with bearings, right? So let's go back to this though, because we have a number of right angles in here as well. So we have one right angle um, right here so I know they never never look right angles, but they are, because this is from the window straight down to the ground. See, so if you look at the building. Okay, so I have 55 degrees and 44. And this 55 degrees, because this is parallel to this line, that means there's a right angle in here as well, right? And this angle, which was 55 here, will also be 55 degrees up on the top, Z pattern. See, boom, 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 that's 55. This is 55 degrees. So if I have 55 degrees, a right angle triangle here, this triangle here is a right angle because it's the same corner of the wall, right where the two walls are meeting. So 55, 44, and I want to know, I want to know this side length, the red one. So that's the adjacent side. Here's my angle, here's the adjacent, and this would be the hypotenuse. So this, let's call it, um, we'll call it A. Okay, this will be side B, and this will be side C. Okay, so if I wanna find A, that means the cos, I'm gonna use cosine, because I'm using adjacent and hypotenuse, and 55 degrees. So the cos of 55 degrees is going to be equal to A over the hypotenuse, which is 44.5. So 
that means A is 44.5 times the cos of 55 degrees. So let's do that here on my calculator. 44.5 times the cos of 55 gives me 25, 25.52 approximately meters. Okay, so now I'm going to do the very same thing to calculate the other side here, the side B. So again, I have a Z pattern. So boom, boom, boom. This is 34. This is 34 degrees up here. 34 degrees, I'm trying to find the adjacent and I have the hypotenuse. So the cos of 34 degrees is going to be equal to B divided by 71. So B is 71 times the cos of 34 degrees. So 71 times the cos of 34 is going to give me about 58.86. 58.86 meters. Okay, so that means the total distance from here to here on the outside of the building, I'm just going to add those two things together. So I have total outside distance will be 58.86 plus 25.52. And that's going to be 2 and 6 and 8, 5 and 8 are 13, carry the 1, 6 and 8 is 14, carry the 1, 3 and 5 is 84.38 meters. Okay, so that's the distance around the outside. Now I want to find this side here. So how am I going to find the length of C? And what do you have here? Well, this is a right angle triangle, right? Because this is a, there's a right angle on the building, so I have two sides and I'm trying to find the hypotenuse. So the straight distance is going to be C squared equals A squared plus B squared. That's all you have to do. So A was 25.52. I'm going to square it. I'm going to add, um, oops, I said C, that should have been a B. 58.86 and I'm going to square it. So you square those two and add them together and take the square root. I'm not going to do all that for you. You've got a calculator and it should come out to about 64.2 meters. And that's wacky question six on page 335. And thank you to Sid for the question.